So in this video, I'll show you how to use programmatic SEO and find programmatic SEO keywords to use in SEO writing, which now finally has the bulk outline feature, which is amazing. And we'll go through the whole process of finding the keywords, validating keywords, and then using them inside of the SEO writing. So let's get started. So first you do need a seed keyword. I was thinking about autoresponders. You can think of other keywords. The way the programmatic SEO keywords are structured is that you have the seed keywords and have your modifier. Could be a question, could be a city, could be a state, could be anything else. But again, today we're working with the autoresponders and so let's go to ChatGPT or any other LLM. Let's run our first prompt. And the first prompt is what programmatic SEO keyword suggestions could be generated for the email or responders like GetResponse and Aweber. And we can just choose Aweber for now because we are now uh, just testing the water, so to speak. For programmatic SEO targeting email or responders like Aweber, we can brainstorm keywords to target both high search volume and niche intent driven queries. And this is a very comprehensive list that works as a template Aweber versus MailChimp. Best email or responder for alternatives to Aweber 4. How does Aweber compare to the features of Aweber versus? What we can do now is copy these keywords, clean them up a little bit. And I have done that already. Go to a free tool called the Hoth. In there, we need the keyword volume checker. You insert the keywords and you click on view SEMrush keyword stats. And this is powered by SEMrush. And there you see which of the keywords have a high volume, high potential, but nothing is stopping you from going for the low competition, low volume alternatives. So say you've tested the words and you like one of the keywords. And since I did my keyword research beforehand, I have a keyword in mind as well that didn't show here, but the keyword in question is how to warm up a Weber. And I know this is a valid keyword because this is being asked. And since I know this is a valid keyword, I can test it out with another or responder like GetResponse, for example. And we can see there is also articles targeting this keyword. This proves that uh, this is a valid sub niche. Now all you have to do is go back to ChatGPT, give me 20 most popular email or responders. And you can start with 20, you can build it up. If there is room, you can go for 30 and 40. So we have Moonsan, Brevo, ConvertKit, Omnisand and so forth. And you can actually choose the new search feature inside of the ChatGPT. I didn't, but you should. Next up, and by the way, all of these prompts are going to be in my free ChatGPT library. Turn the above into keywords in a format of how to warm up and then seed keywords. So you are getting these variations, how to warm up constant contact, how to warm up get response, convert kit, Monsanto and so forth. Then it is time to go to SEO writing. We need the bulk article generation module. Now, as you can see, this is where you are generating your outlines and so you can generate your outlines with AI. But for programmatic SEO, you would want your outlines to be similar, so they're not all over the place. So you would want to import from Excel. All you need to do is create this Excel sheet here. Let us copy the keywords like so. They're going to act as our titles as well. So we can just copy them over once again. Okay, now the difficult part is about the outline. Unfortunately, SEO writing doesn't explicitly tell you how to insert the outline and I've found a way. So since you have this collection of the keywords, you run this prompt here and use markdown outline for number one. And then you follow these formats. Let's see what happens. And this is how you're going to get your outline. You should copy it, copy it like so. Then what you can do is go do the same for the keywords two to 20. And to do the same. And note that the outline are going to be identical. So step two is choose subscribers. Step two, select subscribers. Step two, choose subscribers. Step two, select a small engaged audience. Step two, start with a small audience segment. Step two, start small with engaged subscribers. These are all variations. And fortunately, you have to copy each of the outlines one by one. And also, if you need SEO keywords, just go like this. Give me 50 highly semantically relevant OSI keywords and entities related to how to warm up. Uh, what was the first one? Convert kit, constant contact. Okay, these are our keywords. We go back to our Excel file. For the demonstration purposes, let me delete everything here. Because so I won't be wasting your time populating the whole thing. Let's just say this is our first keyword. Let's save it. 
this is called book 2 let's go back to SEO writing import from Excel book 2 and as you can see we have our keyword our title our keywords now we can set up our settings so what I usually go for a programmatic SEO is something pretty inexpensive in this case uh, we could use Haiku article size small tone of voice casual point of view I me mine target country United States humanized text let's go for grade 7 brand voice this is another feature let's choose one of the uh, brand voices that I had created prior tech friendly guide now we don't need the intense mode here although if we have a CDA or a special link we can do that media hub images okay youtube videos okay we don't need uh, this many images maybe just the two for the structure we can just something very specific like this let me just amend the keywords in question because introductions are important so we can say give me a short under 50 words but engaging introduction to a blog post article about the main keyword how to warm up constant contact make sure to directly and quickly give an answer to the main keyword make sure that the main keyword is mentioned in the content as is and aim at grade 7 readability level and this is just one of my variations we don't need no quotes no faqs okay internal linking it's very important i don't have an associated niche but uh, seo writing has uh, drastically improved internal linking a while ago connect to web again seo writing now has connect to web by default we're not going to be using syndication and yeah let's create our article while we wait, I have a 25% discount for SEO writing. If you use my link in my coupon codes down below, the coupon code is WAS25. And all of the today's prompts are going to be in my ChatGPT prompts library, which is free for you to sign up for the Words to Scale newsletter. Okay, our article is ready. Boost your constant contact email game. Warming up your account is key to better deliverability and avoiding spam features. Whether you're, in, you're experienced or new, we'll show you how to warm up your constant contact my account this is a perfect intro key takeaways what is email warming why warming up constant contact matters understanding email warm-up preparing for the warm-up process step one step two step four step five internal links okay so this is a perfect article for our purposes and this was all made possible by the new SEO writing feature again sign up if you haven't already Go check out my ChatGPT prompts library to get all the prompts from the today's video. And yeah, until next time.